Welcome back. It's a make or break day for the deal to avoid a catastrophic U.S. default. The House of Representatives is on track to vote tonight on a compromise bill to suspend the nation's debt limit, among other provisions. Here to break it down for me and you is Dave Evans from Evans Financial Group. Okay, Dave, let's talk debt. Okay. One of the things that, and this has been going on for, for quite a while, but there's a couple of things that with the increased debt ceiling that affect consumers and if it affects them consistent I mean uh, considerably one is it increases by interest interest rates so obviously the government's probably going to have to borrow some more money and when you have increased loans typically you have increased uh, interest rates and increased interest rates don't just apply to those loans but they apply to mortgages they apply to uh, your car loans and all that sort of thing. So it affects everybody. It affects everybody. Mortgages were three percent a number of years ago, and mm -hmm. now they're you know upwards of six and a half or so. Right. So, uh, and when you have that, you have uh, reduced spending in the economy and sometimes job loss, and and um, so the increased interest rates is a significant deal, in and it literally affects all of this, right. not just in whether we're borrowing, but just it affects everything even to down to the price of goods. The second thing is inflationary pressure, and we certainly have seen that in this past year. Uh, the government said, I think that, I think the, the raise for Social Security was 8.7%, and they said that's what inflation was. What I, I'm finding a hard time when I go to the grocery store seeing 8.7% increase because it's really <laughs> a bigger number than that. Mm -hmm. um, but when the government increases its money supply and we don't have production of goods and services to match that, then we have an inflation going on and we have uh, too much money chasing too small number of goods and the problem with that is you have to spend more money to buy the same amount of goods that you did last year and again if and you, the pay is not going up in many that's in correct many jobs. And, and if you do any shopping at all um, your grocery bill is higher this year well that debt ceiling issue can magnify this even more uh, and I would say the third thing is uh, market volatility and uncertainness. Uh, there's a significant problem when you know we're, we're deciding whether the government's going to be able to make its obligations, and the rest of the world sees that as well. And when we can't make our obligations, that's that causes concerns in the financial markets. Concerns in the financial markets affects literally all of us in terms of our investments and our retirement and our retirement strategy. Years ago, there was a term that said my 401k became a 201k because of that, that market volatility. And Dave, have you been receiving a lot of calls right now about this that are people are concerned about what's going on? They're concerned about that, and I've really got more <laughs> more calls about the banking crisis uh, a couple, about a month or so Which ago. Which also was a big deal. Yeah. Um, but we get concerned because people are just saying, am I going to get my Social Security check? Mm -hmm. And, you know, that's a that's a big deal. And um, right, because many people depend on that. Absolutely. And when you're on fixed income, the inflationary problem and the interest rate issue is a, is a big deal. Uh, whether you have money invested in the market or not is a, is also a big deal if you do. But let me give you some uh, context in 2016. Our debt was about $19 trillion. Okay. In 2020, it was about $27 trillion, and today it's $31 trillion, and we're raising it to yet a, a higher number. And um, it sounds like, it's, well, we're just, we're just borrowing more money. And a lot of people, don't, not understanding the economic system, will just think, well, the government's just printing more money. It's a little bit more complex than that. but. It does cause the things that we just talked about, inflation and, and cause uh, interest rates to go up and, and certainly market volatility. And that affects all of us, and that's a big deal. Now, again, they, I think they did strike a deal, and uh, to this, even at this point, I don't think everyone is going along with it. I mean, not all the Republicans are saying you know, that they, they did a good deal. Well, thank you so much, Dave, for being here today to talk to us about the safe to kind of bring it down and uh, make it so that we're understanding what's going on actually in today because it affects everybody, it all of us. Um, and I know a lot of people who are actually concerned about this right now. Yep. So thank, thank you for being here.